Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun comparison between Ubuntu uh, version 18.04, so the long-term service release that's now been out for two years, um, actually four years I should say, uh, versus the latest long-term uh, service release that's just come out in beta form, um, Ubuntu version 22.04. Now, the first part of the version stands for the year, the second part stands for the month, but every uh, two years they bring out a, a long-term service release. There is one in the middle of these two called the 20.04 long-term service release. One thing to mention is you get about five to ten years of updates uh, once you install one of these puppies. So five years for general updates, another five years for security updates. So it does make for an interesting uh, comparison here. So I just thought I'd have a look at uh, where we've been, where we've come from, and where we're going. So so uh, the version 18.04, the, the old version of the long-term uh, release, does feel a little bit dated the way that it looks. Not exactly a dark mode and it's just a little bit, um, I would almost say ugly, but uh, if you were to click on it, it may appear to be much of a muchness. So you've still got your taskbar menu on, on the left, you've got your start menu button showing applications on the bottom left there as well. You can scroll across. Uh, they've decided to uh, make the icons a lot smaller, I guess, so you can fit more on the screen, perhaps. Maybe I do like the older version, though. Hmm, it's just nice to see there. Uh, if we were to, say, uh, maybe do a bit of a right-click, have a look at the context menu, a few extra options in the modern day, which is nice to see. It probably does need to be mentioned that we are actually running on the GNOME desktop environment here. So GNOME 3.28 on the left, a little bit older there, and the GNOME 41.x on the right. So it just all depends there, but certainly a newer variant of the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, now, if we were to maybe have a look at the, the file manager, see what's going down there. I prefer the newer icons. You can see they've updated the icons there. Now, this isn't, uh, they, they, they seem to have attempted to implement dark mode or a darker mode on the older version. This is just the, I guess, the stock version. It's it's okay. It just looks a bit weird the way that they've pre chosen to present that there. Uh, no, I don't want to install anything now. Remind me later. And uh, you, you can see that they've uh, updated the icon set. So it just looks ni much nicer and prettier. I'm not a fan of the pink orange look. I am a bit more of a fan of the pink purple yellow look uh, on the right hand side there. But uh, there it is, right click, and oh, roughly the same options there, open in terminal, even the, the context menu is dark uh, there, so that's interesting. You can change this to be uh, a dark menu option, uh, sorry, a dark mode for the settings. In fact, I'll do that on the fly during the video here. Uh, let's just go to appearance, and we should be able to go to dark. Oh, that's nice, I've updated that look and feel there. And there we go, so nice and dark. Let's compare it again to the old version of the long-term service re release. And yeah, it just looks a lot nicer in my opinion there. Uh, now let's uh, maybe have a little bit of a look under the hood, see what's going on. So we have the, the kernel. So the 5.4 kernel for the Ubuntu 18.04. So a little bit of an older, perhaps considered to be more stable kernel. Whereas uh, Ubuntu 22.04 definitely running on the latest kernel. This will be the kernel to use for the next four variants or sub-variants, if you will, of uh, Ubuntu. So Ubuntu 20.10, 23.04, and 23.10. So for two years, uh, it'll have that main basic kernel. It can be changed, and sometimes they do update it from time to time. But we are always going to be running on that newer kernel for sure. Uh, this is another part where the visual comparison gets a little bit, uh, a little bit ugly for the yeah, it, this reminds me of Ubuntu from about 2010, where it's got this kind of, uh, I guess, gradient color in here. So it goes from higher to lower in a lighter to darker there. And even with the dark mode, they seem to have not included the tabs there. So that's it's just not very well, um, uh, I guess, pretty fired. So it's, it's just not as, as, as nice to look at as it could be. Whereas on the right hand side, just lovely, just great, no complaints there. Last but not least, let's have a look at the RAM on boot up. So nothing else is booted in the background except for the operating system itself. And we're running at about 900 megabytes of RAM on boot up there for Ubuntu 18.04, the old version of the long-term service release, which is still supported for a good number of years, just so you guys know. Uh, so 900 megabytes, uh, whereas uh, Ubuntu 22.04, this long-term service release running at about 770 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So 130 megabytes less or so. Uh, this isn't the final uh, version because it is just the beta. Maybe it's uh, not optimized enough and it will be even smaller. 
or uh, maybe there's missing packages and it will be bigger. Time will tell and I'll certainly do an updated video on that, but just to get in a bit of a look and feel to see what's going on uh, for now there, guys. But uh, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll leave it at that for the video now, for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.